Need help simplifying the way you make a budget spreadsheet? Whether you're a titan of industry or barely making ends meet, you need a budget to manage your personal and professional life. A budget is a spending plan that helps you prepare for the best possible future for yourself and your business. In today's video, we'll dive into the five easy steps it takes to put your business on the surefire route to financial stability. I'm Noel, and this is JotForm. Let's get to budgeting. First off, you'll want to input the money you earn each month, whether that's salary or revenue. If this is a personal budget, write down your take-home pay, not your actual salary, or you'll end up overestimating how much money you have to work with each month. If you're calculating for a business, you may have a little bit more difficulty. You'll have to add up all income sources, then divide that sum into a monthly figure, which can be a bit more complicated overall. Next up, you'll want to deduct your recurring monthly payments. For a professional budget, those include set amounts, like your housing, car, insurance, and childcare. For a personal budget, you're looking at costs of rent, supplies, payroll, and insurance. These fixed expenses in your budget spreadsheet will vary based on your circumstances and experiences, so include your unique costs when budgeting. Variable expenses are up next. These expenses, unlike fixed expenses, change each month. This includes electricity and grocery bills. For businesses, variable costs also include utilities and other discretionary expenses, which are those that aren't vital to keeping the doors open, but are nice to have. This could include the owner's salary or new equipment. If income or revenue is high, you can easily make these extra expenditures. If money is tighter, you'll need to reduce your variable expenses. Luckily, your budget spreadsheet makes it easy to see where you can splurge and where you need to tighten the purse strings. Financial experts suggest saving 10% of your post-tax income, so it's important to start putting some money away every month. In business, this is known as a contingency or an emergency fund. It helps you stay afloat when the unexpected happens. You can also dip into these funds to reinvest in your company's future much the way Amazon funds its prolific innovation efforts. If you're budgeting for a business, it's important to include a profit and loss section as well. It's a pretty simple process. Add up all of the revenue in your budget spreadsheet and subtract all of the expenses. If it's a positive number, you have a profit. If it's not, it's a loss, and you may have some readjusting to do. So now you know how to make a budget spreadsheet. The only thing left is deciding what exactly you'll use to create it. There are many tools and templates at your fingertips to help. You can use the spreadsheet programs you're already familiar with, like Microsoft Excel or Google Sheets. JotForm Tables is also a great option that combines the user-friendliness of spreadsheets with the powerful functionality of databases. What's best about it is it's free to use. You may not be rich yet, but you are rich with knowledge in how to budget better. Let's do a quick review of the steps you should take in creating a new personal or professional budget. First, figure out your income or revenue. Then enter in your fixed expenses like rent, insurance, or payroll. Next, figure out your variable expenses, the ones that change month to month like grocery bills and utilities. Then you'll want to start saving. Put a little away each month. Last, when making a professional budget, Create a profit and loss column to see if you're coming in at a profit or a loss when all is said and done each month. Remember, whether you're new to budgeting or a budget pro, it's better to start now rather than never. Your bank account will thank you. I'm Noel, and this is JotForm. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.